Afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We're extremely pleased to welcome Governor Tom Wolf to our Enola store and are truly grateful for his initiative to prioritize supermarket workers for the COVID-19 vaccine. We're also very grateful to those frontline healthcare workers who have worked tirelessly throughout this pandemic. At the same time, we're tremendously proud of our associates, both from Wise Markets and other companies who are the unsung heroes of the past 12 months, particularly store and pharmacy associates. Over the past year, our associates rose to the challenge of keeping their customers and fellow workers safe. It hasn't been easy, but our teams quickly learned and adapted during a time of record demand. That's why we're so pleased to be a part of Pennsylvania's COVID-19 immunization program. Over the past nine weeks, 96 in-store WISE pharmacies have partnered with the Commonwealth to immunize over 100,000 people throughout Pennsylvania. We look forward to immunizing more people in the coming months, including our central store teams who serve our customers. And we wish Governor Wolf well as we move into the late and hopefully final stages of the pandemic. Governor Wolf. Uh, thank you, Jonathan, and, and thank you, everybody. Liz, congratulations on getting your vaccine today. And uh, thank you to the manager, Tony. Thanks for having me here. And Rick, thank you very, Rick, thank you very much. Um, it, it is a, an honor to be here and to really recognize in a way that I think we maybe haven't done enough of, and that is recognize some of Pennsylvania's hardworking frontline workers to celebrate the fact that our vaccine supply has increased enough so that we can expand the eligibility to more groups beyond the phase 1a. Pennsylvania's vaccine rollout has made, as you know, really great progress. As of this morning, uh, we had uh, uh, become, I think we're first in the top 10 most populous states in the country in terms of first doses. Uh, and we're number 12th, I think, in overall in, in the uh, country in terms of first doses going into to, to arms. Uh, the Becker survey puts us at 20, 21st in the country. Uh, we're above average in first doses and we're at the national average in terms of second doses. Uh, we continue to make good, good progress. Uh, we're still at the point where no state in the nation has received enough vaccine from the federal government to allow every person who wants a vaccine to get one, but we have worked hard to overcome the challenges facing us to improve our vaccine administration and get more shots into more arms. And as we saw here today with Liz, we're actually making great progress there. Uh, Pennsylvania continues to move up in the rankings. Uh, and while the numbers fluctuate from day to day, we've routinely been in the top 15 in the nation uh, for first dose vaccines, meaning that when providers actually receive the vaccine, they're quickly getting it into the arms of Pennsylvanians. So by the end of March, uh, we were really close to the end of phase 1A, and rather than have long wait lists, providers throughout the Commonwealth were reporting, we were already at a point where they had an increasing number of vacancies, openings uh, in their appointments list. So vaccine supply from the federal government just continues to increase, uh, including at sites like this, uh, and so we can actually move faster in terms of opening up uh, our uh, vaccine eligibility. Here, I think, as many of you know, the WISE system is uh, in the federal partnership. The participating pharmacies, they actually, like WISE, receive vaccine allocation directly from the federal government. This program helps to increase vaccine availability in all of our communities. Uh, either beyond the, beyond the allocation that the state gets. I think the com combination of everything we get, everything that the federal partnership gets, everything that Philadelphia gets, is around right, right now about a million vaccines every week in Pennsylvania. And that it helps to increase the geographic footprint of vaccine providers uh, throughout our Commonwealth, what Weiss is doing here, what everybody is doing. They have 96 pharmacies all across the state, and that's made a big difference in, in Pennsylvania. It helps support efforts at the state level to make vaccine available to more Pennsylvanians in an ethical, equitable, and efficient way. All of this played a part in our decision last week again to announce the accelerated vaccine rollout in Pennsylvania. As of last Wednesday, March 31st, grocery workers are now eligible to receive a COVID-19 vaccine in Pennsylvania. And many Weiss employees have the option 
to be vaccinated where they work, like the employees at this store, like Liz. This is a huge step forward in our vaccine rollout because it offers protection to a group of essential workers who work closely with the public every day. Grocery workers have been on the front lines of this pandemic right from the very beginning, ensuring that even in this once in a century pandemic that we've gone through, Pennsylvanians, all of us, could access life-sustaining food. So on behalf of all Pennsylvanians, I want to thank the Commonwealth's grocery workers. You do hard work. You protect your communities while providing food and essential supplies, all the while taking on more risks for yourselves. My administration has worked to support our essential and frontline workers throughout the pandemic. And I'm proud that Pennsylvania is now able to expand eligibility to protect the same workers who have done so much to protect their neighbors every day for the past year. So thanks to Weiss Marcus for being such a good partner to Pennsylvania. You show your commitment, Jonathan, every day from providing nutritious food to stepping up and participating in the vaccine rollout. So thank you to the pharmacists, Thank you to the medical workers who work so hard to schedule appointments and administer, administer vaccines as quickly as possible. But most of all, thank you to the grocery workers for everything that you do to provide for all of us to keep your community safe. All Pennsylvanians owe a debt of gratitude to you. And we should all celebrate the fact that this group of frontline workers, this, this group of frontline heroes, has now gotten the option to be vaccinated. Our community. Communities will be safer when the people who work most closely with the public are safer. And after everything our grocery workers have done to take care of us over the past year, it's now time for us to take care of them. So thank you again. Now I'm going to turn this over to Rick Seip, Pharmacy Manager for Weiss. Good afternoon. We're very happy to welcome Governor Wolf to our NOLA store, and really we're very thankful for his initiative to prioritize frontline workers and supermarket workers for the COVID-19 vaccine. We've been pleased to be a part of the Pennsylvania COVID-19 immunization program through TOPCO and the federal pharmacy program since really the middle of January. As Jonathan mentioned, all of our stores, are, all of our in-store pharmacies have partnered with the Commonwealth to immunize over 100,000 immunizations since the start. We'd like to thank our pharmacy teams for their professionalism and their work on behalf of our customers. They have truly worked tirelessly since the start of this program. We're also happy to partner with the Departments of Aging and other local organizations to continue to go out into our communities, not only accept customers into our stores and our patients into our stores, but to go to them to bring the vaccination to them. An example of that is just today, where the rest of the pharmacy team is actually out at an Elizabethtown location, immunizing 850 seniors. It's their second dose and they're all very happy about that. I know that all pharmacies look forward to immunizing more people in the coming months, not just us. Specifically, we're looking forward to immunizing our essential store teams who serve our customers and all members of the community as eligibility opens. And lastly, we look forward to continue to immunize beyond the pandemic and to be a destination for health and wellness for our communities. Thank you, thank you, Governor Wolf, for coming today. And I'd like to welcome our store manager, Tony Menjin. So we're extremely pleased to welcome Governor Wolf to our Enola store and truly grateful for his initiative to prioritize supermarket workers for the COVID-19 vaccine. We're also grateful to all the frontline healthcare workers who worked tirelessly through the pandemic. At the same time, we are tremendously proud of our associates for the unsung heroes of the past 12 months, particularly our store and pharmacy teams. Over the past year, our associates have rose to the challenge of keeping our customers and their fellow workers safe. It wasn't easy, but our teams learned quickly and adapted during a time of record demand. That's why we're so pleased to be part of the Pennsylvania COVID-19 immunization program. Over the past nine weeks, 96 in-store WISE pharmacies have partnered with the Commonwealth to immunize 100,000 people throughout Pennsylvania. We look forward to immunizing more people in the coming months, including our essential store teams who serve our customers. And we wish Governor Wolf well as we move into the late, hopefully final, stages of the pandemic. I'd like to welcome Governor Wolf back up. Thank you. Okay, yeah. Governor, I know yeah. a lot of states have recently opened up vaccine eligibility more than Pennsylvania has at this point. 
what does waiting another week for phase 1C and waiting two more weeks for everybody else make a difference in, in terms of getting the vaccine out? I mean, why not just do everybody now? Just two weeks from yesterday. I'm uh, sorry. Everybody, yeah. yeah. The, the idea was that, that uh, it, it, instead of having sort of an initial flood, that we could actually just phase it and that, that going 1B, 1C, and then everybody over a two-week period would, would actually make the logistics better. I guess the other question uh, I wanted to ask in regards to the vaccine rollout, um, some people have said they're a little worried we're going to see the phase 1A expansion uh, uh, backlog that we saw earlier this year. Um, they're expecting, especially with the numbers anticipated for these, these next two phases, that mm -hmm. you're going to see something similar to that. Um, I know supply is increasing. <clears throat> is the state preparing or, or organizing any kind of efforts to try and aid with that backlog not happening? Yeah, we're, as I said, one of the things is to, to phase it to 1B than 1C, and the hope is that, oh, plus you just mentioned the, that we have much greater supply right now than we did. I think, as I said, we we'll probably take all of Pennsylvania a million a, a week around there. Uh, when we started this uh, 1A, you know, we were, what, tens of thousands a week. So we're in a very different different place. Uh, and the both 1B and 1C categories are a lot smaller than the 1A category was. 1A, I think, had 4 million plus people. I think uh, 1B is less than a million and 1C is less than 2 million. Yes. I just have a few questions about vaccine passports. So um, first off, you've expressed a willingness to look into it. Would you veto the proposed bill to ban the passports? Yeah, I, I haven't seen the bill and, and I, I'm not sure. I don't really have an opinion on, on passports. It strikes me that I'm not sure why we would need them or I'm not I'm not sure why we would need a bill. The the if a private company wants to like a, a, a cruise ship says you have to have a vaccine to come onto the, the ship, uh, I'm not sure why the government should interfere with that private sector decision. Okay. I was going to say if Pennsylvania is interested in creating its own vaccine passport program, um, you said that we haven't looked into it yet. Why are we not planning for it since reopening completely is within sight? I'm sorry. Please repeat sorry. it. Um, since with the vaccine passports, if Pennsylvania were to create its own program, why are we not starting to plan it right now since reopening completely is within sight? We haven't decided to, to do it. Are, are you discussing whether you're going to do it? Well, I mean, it, it's uh, people are discussing it all around. So I, I, I but we haven't we haven't made any if if and when we, we do, then, then we'll we'll actually make the plans. But we haven't gotten to that point. Governor, grocery store workers have been on the front lines, as you noted, uh, since this pandemic began. Why would they have not been categorized higher sooner? That's a good question. I, I think, you know, as you know, the, the state uh, did hazard pay programs and, and things to try to, to recognize the, the importance of, of frontline uh, workers. Um, but it's a good question as to why they weren't 1A. Uh, actually, teachers weren't originally 1A, so I, I made teachers. Uh, I, I bumped food workers, agricultural workers, uh, food processing workers, uh, police, and fire up. Uh, so I think you know the the uh, initial uh, categories that came out of the CDC were uh, done for some reason. We followed those uh, those guidelines, and and we changed them like this uh, when we thought it was important. Oh, one more question from one last question, and it's, it's yeah. not related to this. Uh, there's a, a situation going on at the southern border, of course, and President Biden has some people that he may be moving around the country. In the past, I know some people have come to Pennsylvania. Any, do you know of anything where people there now are coming to Pennsylvania? I, I don't know of anything, no. Okay, thanks.